Hello folks, this is Nitin welcoming you to the AI University channel where you can learn all your favorite digital technologies like machine learning, deep learning, AI, big data Hadoop, virtual reality and cloud computing. In the previous video, I showed you how to convert SQL queries into Python equivalent statements. There, I covered SQL uh, constructs like select where, distinct, limit, aggregate, unique, etc. In this video, I am going to cover order by to sort the columns, uh, column values in both ascending and descending order, group by to group the similar values together, count to count the number of occurrences, having clause to put an additional filter. So stay connected till the end of this video and this series to acquire the complete knowledge. If you are new here, then consider subscribing to this channel or if you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century. So here is my Jupyter notebook and I am covering the order by clause first. So if you see the select query here, I am selecting all the records okay, whose genre is female okay, and I am then sorting all of them by the column uh, spending score 1 to 100. So the pandas equivalent statement for above query is given below here. Okay. Here I am first putting a filter on con condition uh, genre equals to female which is this one okay, inside the square brackets and then I am chaining it with the method called sort values. Okay. So this is the method, okay, and I'm chaining it uh, with the help of a dot operator here, okay. So here I'm giving the name of the column inside the bracket on which I want to sort the uh, values or order the values. So please note that by default uh, the values are sorted on ascending order. So when I ran the cell, you can see that records are filtered on genre, which is female, okay. And then the spending score uh, 1 to 100 uh, column values are sorted in ascending order as you can see here. So starting from 5 till 99. So if you want to sort the values in descending order then you can refer the next cell here. Okay, So there might be uh, certain cases wherein you need to sort the values in descending order. Alright and uh, here I have used the same code as above. Okay, so this code and uh, this code is same except one difference. So here I have actually added one more parameter. Okay, uh, so I'm passing an argument here inside this method called sort values method. I'm uh, passing this uh, argument called ascending equals to false inside the sort values in order to sort the values of spending score 1 to 100 column in descending order. When I ran the cell, you can see that the records are filtered on genre first, okay, and then after that, uh, uh, the spending score 1 to 100 column values are sorted in descending order, okay, so starting from 99 till 5, okay, in descending order. Moving on to next cell, so I am covering a group by clause here, okay, and if you see the select query here, I am selecting column genre. Uh, columns like genre and age. So here I want to find out the uh, number of records or occurrences of records grouping them on the basis of genre. Okay, so grouping by genre and age and I wanted to find out the count hence I gave count star here. So this is the select query. So the Python equivalent statement of above query is given below. Okay, which is this. So here I am using the group by method on data frame to group the records on the basis of genre and age as you can as you can see here right. So I pass these column uh, column values in the form of a list to this group by method. After that I changed it with a size method okay to count the number of records. I then changed the result with two frame and reset index methods here right. But before explaining the significance of these two methods, two frame and reset index, let me remove them and print the results. So you can see that the result is printed in the form of a kind of a pivot table. So all the female values, 
uh, followed by male values here right so it's a kind of a pivot table and and the column uh, where we are showing this count right uh, doesn't have any uh, header or heading or the column name here so in order to add the heading or the uh, you know column name we can use this method called to frame by passing the column name as count okay so let me have this particular method mentioned here and now let me rerun this cell in a nutshell we wanted to basically make this field part of our data frame and hence we made use of this to frame method so now here you can see that the column genre and age are not at the same level with the newly added column count okay so in order to bring them at the same level we can make use of uh, the method called re reset index here okay so let me uh, so basically i'm just chaining this method with two frame method when i rerun this cell you can see that uh, all the columns are at the same level and output is presented in a very beautiful manner please note one more thing here that when we group the values of data frame it will return data frame group by object so in order to change this object uh, uh, to a data frame we make use of reset index method and hence you can see that it is a data frame it is in a data frame format now if you want to print the same result but with the values for age column sorted in descending order then we will we can come down to the next cell so here you can see that the uh, age column values are in ascending order right now but if we want to uh, you know uh, arrange uh, uh, the value of age column in descending order then we can do so by making use of this particular statement so here if you see the select query uh, now has an additional clause order by followed by desc so that uh, we can get the same result as above but with the age column values sorted in descending order so the python equivalent of above query is given below here okay and here i have introduced additional method called sort values here so if you see that after reset index i just chained another method called sort values which is sorted on a column called age and in descending order because we uh, we are keeping the value of parameter called ascending as false right so when i ran the cell i got the following output where age column values are sorted in descending order as shown here so moving on to the next cell where we are using another sql construct called having so using this clause we can put uh, an additional filter on group to data so if you see the select query here we are grouping data on age column here okay and we are counting the occurrences of age values here okay so you can see the having clause here right and here i'm just you know uh, filtering out all the records uh, in fact record counts whose value is less than three right so we are using the having clause to put that filter here the python equivalent statement of uh, the above query is given below here okay where first i'm grouping on age column here right and then applying a filter to use lambda function okay so lambda function i'm using to basically mimic this having clause okay so this is the way uh, we can replicate the sql query in python which contains having clause so folks this is it for this video i will be covering remaining uh, python pandas equivalent of sql query constructs in the third and final upcoming video so stay tuned for it uh, so let me ask you a question from today's video. What is the role of chained method uh, called to frame in the following query? Please post your answers comments in the comment section given below so that I can get a chance to incorporate your feedback. You can also post your technical questions in the comment section and I will try to answer the same. If you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel, consider clicking that little subscribe button. In case you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will be covering next topic in the upcoming video. So keep on watching. Thank you.